Hey guys, welcome to another home lab video today. In this video, we're going to be playing around with how to actually send alerts from Uptime Kuma to our Mattermost server on, that essentially is just like another chat service like Slack using incoming webhooks. Now, the reason I wanted to do this was because, you know, you're not going to be watching your Uptime Kuma dashboard 24-7. By all means, that's a really bad way to actually monitor um, because you're trying, you're re reacting to, hey, what's going to happen and you never know when. And that's just really stressful. So whenever you have to create a learning service or anything, you always wanted to send to your like paging or like your teams or depending on what type of notification you want um, to send to a different service that actually alerts you when there's an issue as opposed to waiting and watching for an issue to happen. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself and I. So if you enjoyed the video, want to sponsor me, send me from Sweet Swagger Hardware. My email is in the description below. So, okay, let's get started guys. So luckily this video will pretty much consist of doing almost everything in the GUI. Um, there's actually no like server backend stuff that we need to do, which is pretty amazing. So the first thing that we'll do is actually log into our drag uh, Mattermost server. So we'll create a channel um, and channels, uh, create a channel up here, create a new channel and we will call it Kuma. Um, because in this case we will just put any any Kuma alerts in this specific channel um, for this purpose. But you could do it on any other channel or to a like other category or somewhere else. It depends on how you configure it, but we're gonna just do base configuration, right? Pretty much have a channel, Kuma sends the alert to this channel, and that's it, right? <clears throat> um, so from here, we'll go to the waffle, hit integrations, and set up incoming webhooks. So we'll set up a incoming webhook. We'll call it Kuma up in here again. We'll select the channel Kuma and we'll lock it so that it only can post in this channel and no other channel, right? So now that we've saved it, essentially it gives you the URL. So anything like a sent to this URL will essentially be that webhook. So we'll hit done here. So next thing we want to do is in here, we'll go to settings and we can take a look at notifications. We can set up a notification and we will set up the notification for Mattermost. But you can see there is a ton of other notification services that you can use um, in case you decide you want to do something else like Discord, Google Chat, um, there was Microsoft Teams. So it, it is not just um, you know, Mattermost. There's a ton of others and I just decided Mattermost because we created a server for that. So if you're interested on how to set up a Mattermost server, go check out my Matter Mattermost server video. So, um, but we will do Mattermost here. In this case, we will paste um, the URL. So here's the host. Um, in the case you do get an error about local issuer, um, because you're using a self-signed cert for this, go check out my other video, probably right before this, that will be um, setting up Kuma, uh, importing your uh, CA root certificate into Kuma. So. Um, and then you can leave everything else blank. The only thing required is just the URL webhook and we will, I will name the alert matter most um, alert essentially. Um, everything else can be empty and then we can test. So hit test, send successfully. We should be able to go back and in our Kuma channel, we can see that it actually uses uh, my account, but as a bot and sends it as matter most alert testing. So the test work, successful great um we will also enable this default so any new monitors will essentially pick this one up and we will apply to all existing monitors because we're just going to just do a blanket hey everything um but in case you want like separate channels with separate webhooks for specific services like say for example you want something for just your home lab versus your like public notification that's a good thing or like your production versus non-production systems right um that's very key point where you want to get alerted on your production systems going down but if it's like a non-prime not as critical during like you know at like 2 a.m in the morning you may not want to be alerted but you know, maybe you wanted to go to like a separate channel that doesn't like wake you up, right? So, but in this case, we're just gonna do both, but you can pick whatever you want. So now you can see um, if you click on any of these, uh, that if you go hit edit here, you can see that this notification for Mattermost is enabled um, because we enabled it for all existing ones and any, any new ones for default. But you can always turn it off specifically for one. So you can turn it off like that. Make sure you hit save at the bottom though, if you do do, do that. Um, but that's essentially it for notifications. Um, so what we'll actually do is actually take down Nextcloud real quick and show how the alerting works. So nextcloud.dragon.local. 
So if we just stop the Nginx server because that's where it's running. Mm, stop Nginx. Um, our SSL assert. Um, you can see on that last check now it's pending because it didn't see it actually come up. It didn't respond back. So on the next check, it should say down. Um, and then that should actually send an alert to our Mattermost instance in here saying that it is down. And there you go. See, so now on the next check, it actually saw that the service went down. It actually sent a message as that bot using the web hook URL. So now, now you got the whole thing telling when it's down, and it even gives like the little nice red box where it's like, "Hey, it's down, down." Um, there's a ton of other options that you can do with this, um, which I haven't played around with, but uh, you can run playbook, or you can add like to a timeline. This is this is a, a specific feature, but. If you have playbooks created in regards to like how to handle instances, and instances, you can actually start a run right here like this too. So it's actually quite nice. It actually integrates very well. Um, and then when the service comes back up, it should also send a up notification essentially saying it is back now. So we'll turn it back on. We'll see in the next check. Give it a second. Uh, yeah, we started it. So in the next check, it should essentially show back as up. So now you can see it's okay. It is back up and it will send a notification saying, hey, your service is now back up. You should be all good. Green box. And there you go. So essentially now you can set up an alert um, in um, Kuma to essentially send to Mattermost in your channel or wherever you want alerts to be sent to. So if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by slapping a like, commenting, or subscribing to my channel. So hope you guys all have an amazing day and see you guys later.